consult with your client to discuss their desired end result. From here, you will determine the length, color, and placement pattern. You will also discuss pricing and maintenance with your client. Always match the swatch to the middle and end of your client's hair, not at the root. The extension should match the color of the natural hair that is being placed on top of them. Because our client has heavy highlights, two shades will be used to create a seamless match. We will be applying 12DB2, which is a dark blonde highlighted shade, along with number 24, which is a light natural blonde. In order for extensions to bond properly, the hair must be clarified at least two times with Ostia Collection Clarifying Shampoo. Conditioner or other styling products must not be applied after clarifying. Make sure to thoroughly shampoo and rinse the nape of the neck and the hairline, as these two areas are commonly ignored. This step is critical. Extensions will slip if the hair is not clarified properly. Next, blow dry the hair straight with a Tony Odisho Extensions Paddle Brush. To begin applying the extensions, first part the hair from ear to ear and divide into two sections down the middle. First row will begin about 2 inches above the nape. Be sure to leave out 1 inch around the perimeter of the head so that the extensions do not show. Next, we will map out the placement of the tape extensions. The first row will have two pieces and a brick layer pattern will be used in subsequent rows. Extensions should be placed at least half inch from the scalp. Placing them too close to the scalp can cause too much tension on the hair and result in breakage. Peel the backing from your first extensions. The bottom half of the sandwich, which will be our non-dominant shade, is applied first, so we will be using the lighter shade in this case. Take a 2 inch wide slice of hair. The slice of hair should be thin enough to see through. Be sure not to touch the keratin with your fingers, as this will result in weaker adhesion. Holding the hair taut, lift the slice up and place the extension, keratin side up, against the head. Lay the slice of hair directly on top. Using the end of a rat tail comb, gently remove any hair that did not stick to the keratin tape. Now apply the top half of the sandwich. Remember, the top strip will be the dominant color. In this case, it will be the darker blonde highlighted shade. Apply the strip directly on top of the bottom strip and press with your fingers. Using the Express Tape application pincers, seal the sandwich by pressing firmly for 2 to 3 seconds. This will ensure a secure and proper adhesion. Check your placement to make sure enough hair has been left out around the perimeter. The extension should be able to flip up and down easily. If they don't, this means they are placed too close to the scalp and should be removed and placed down further. Now we will take our next section. 
Rows should be about a half inch to one inch apart. Express tape should be applied in a brick lay pattern. So now we will map out the placement of our second row. Remember to keep extensions one inch away from the perimeter of the hairline. We will continue applying the extensions using the same color pattern and placement that it has in row 1. The extensions should be able to flip up and down easily. If you can't, this means they are placed too close to the scalp and should be removed and placed down further. The extension should be able to flip up and down easily. If you can't, this means they are placed too close to the scalp and should be removed and placed down further. Now we will take our next section. Rows should be about a half inch to one inch apart, depending on how much length is being added to your client's hair density. In this case, we will keep our rows a half inch from the previous row. At least one inch around the hairline will be left out this is very important, otherwise the extensions will be visible. Express tape should be applied in a brick lay pattern. Remember to keep extensions one inch away from the perimeter of the hairline. We will continue applying the extensions using the same color pattern and placement that it has in row 1. At least one inch around the hairline will be left out. This is very important, otherwise the extensions will be visible. Now we have taken the hair down to determine the placement of the last row. You will notice how flat and undetectable the extensions are thanks to our ultra-thin biomimetic keratin tape. The bricklay pattern is determined by the placement of the previous row. Row 4 will be a horseshoe section. Make sure to leave plenty of room around the front of the hairline so that the extensions are not visible. If your client wears her hair back often, 
You can place the extensions at a slight diagonal forward. Because our model wears her hair down, we will be placing them parallel to the partings. Remember to continue placing the extensions in a brick lay pattern. Now we will map our placement. The bricklay pattern is determined by the placement of the previous row. Our last row will be bricklaid to overlap the unfilled areas. Partial applications are great for adding volume. Placing the extensions in one or two horseshoe sections can create this look. To prep the hair for cutting and blending, we will apply the Tony Odisha Ostic Collection 3-in-1 Mist. This will tame any static and smooth the hair.